This is Steve. And this is Sean. Welcome to season two of Acromedia's High Five. So Steve, what are we gonna talk about today? Well, first off, we need to give some recognition that we made it to season two. We never thought we'd make it to season two, but our free contracts are renewed and we're ready to rock. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna be talking about uh, service level agreements, otherwise known as an SLA, and how we're actually going to be giving out a free SLA, kind of just like a really in-depth report about what we're doing on the commerce front. So that's a, that's amazing, Stephen. <laughs> hey man, I thought so too. Um, well, I'll just start out by describing a little bit of what an SLA is. Mm -hmm. uh, and this will sound a little bit sales pitchy, but that's not the intention. But uh, can well, you say anything that doesn't sound sales pitchy? <laughs> not often, truthfully. That is my job. So, <laughs> and that being said. Uh, what we tend to offer our clients uh, when they work with us is this uh, thing called a service level agreement, and that is that we actually, uh, you know, their site will go live, and then we'll warranty their site by uh, fixing bugs, by doing security updates, by doing patches to the Drupal modules. And um, while it's really useful to our clients, we also thought that we could be extending this a little bit further and doing a report for people who maybe don't work with us about some of the modules we're maintaining and contributing to so that other people know when patches are going to be released, security updates are going to be released, so that you know if they're maintaining a site or anything like that, they can actually you know, know what's going on in the community without having to do research themselves. Yeah, we came up with the idea sort of at the start because there was actually a bit of a hit piece um, on Drupal Commerce. Uh, that said Drupal Commerce is dying or Drupal Commerce is dead. And is it not? Took a, we took a little bit of offense to that. Oh, okay. Um, so, you know, there were some harsh words explained and, you know, someone sent some stuff through the mail and, and that's not important. But um, what did Dries have to say about it? <laughs> well, Dries and Acquia are a little Magento based right now, so we won't talk about that one either. Got it. Um, but we thought that we wanted to show that there was activity in the community um, and that there was support behind uh, Drupal Commerce, uh, even especially on the enterprise level. So obviously there's lots of work being done by on Drupal Commerce, but we wanted to also say if you're running it, you know, how can um, we help you? So we thought if we did a bit of a an entry-level SLA um, offering where we su provided support of, um, you know, what had been updated in the community, if there were security bulletins that needed mm -hmm. to be done, that kind of thing. Um, the Drupal Association and the security team for Drupal handle some of that for sort of uh, Drupal itself and the Drupal contrib space, but none of it is specifically commerce focused. So from what I understand, um, this report that we're going to be giving out to people, it's covering uh, what we deem to be the top 20 use modules. Is that correct? Yeah. So we're doing uh, commerce core and then we're doing uh, basically the top 20 uh, modules by popularity. We tweak that list mm -hmm. a little bit um, because it tends to have a few payment gateways and stuff in it that, that are popular, but only used by you know, you'll only use one of the, you know, four or five that are in the top. So we massaged it a little to have sort of important ones or ones that were crucial um, to the site. Some of the very basic ones um, that just offer, you know, uh, offline payment or something that, that isn't that likely to break. We sort of left those out of the list So because we could only support sort of so many for mm -hmm. our first offering. And, you know, and I was describing a little bit that it's going to be useful to the fact that, you know, these people can, you know, these site maintainers can, you know, understand what's coming out, you know, in terms of patches and security updates and all of that. But, uh, you know, you've drawn attention to this before that these are actually quite serious, you know, like you can't just not update your site. You have to know when these things are happening. Yeah, and, and we try to give some indication of, of what that is. So we'll say, you know, uh, this is a security update. This is an important security update. Or even this isn't a security update, but it, it's quite an important level of bug fixes. Um, or it's, you know, very minor, don't get overly worried about updating. There can oftentimes be stuff that isn't, it isn't a security update, it's not going to cause a problem, but it's actually very important to update. Say if, um, like an example is if you use PayPal and they were updating their uh, API, mm -hmm. um, so at a certain point you needed to update to the new module um, or you wouldn't be able to connect to PayPal anymore. Now that isn't a security problem, but it's really going to suck for your website if suddenly you can't connect to PayPal anymore and you can't take payment. So it's to bring notice to stuff like that, um, which there wasn't really a good way to know about that in the community mm -hmm. um, up until this point. If, if you weren't following along with that module, uh, you wouldn't get the severity of a, of a must-do upgrade like that versus you know a couple of edge case bug fixes. Yeah, so we're going to be producing this report. Um, we're going to be spending the time to actually kind of organize this for uh, for you guys to stay up to date. And really, at that point, all you really need to do is is let us know if you're interested in receiving this report so we can send it to you. Really no strings attached. Obviously, if you want to support commerce and you want to support uh, the development of it, of course, you can always uh, let us know if you're interested in doing that. But ultimately, we just want to give this to you guys as a free tool so you can stay up to date.
So we also have a, a number of other uh, SLA offerings that are paid that go above our free service. So for the free one, you'll just get these reports on uh, the top 20 modules as well as Drupal Commerce itself. Um, and some other statistics about uh, modules and how they were updated and stuff. Um, for the paid versions, um, we will do stuff unique to your site as well. We'll give you um, some performance reporting. Um, the module list will be tailored specifically to your site. Um, we'll give you a summary of any uh, emergency fixes or repairs that we've had to do to your website. Um, and then as this expands, we'll even, uh, we can do additional code coverage testing, automated testing to modules, and there's other things as the, as the offerings go up. Um, but overall, they receive the same type of report uh, with most of the same information and just customized um, for their unique site. Steve, do you want to hit us up with a too long didn't read here? You never asked me that question. Well, season, I would be happy to do season that. Season two, and I just... We're I, switching things up? I felt you could handle one at this point. <laughs> I think I can too. Well, as you guys know, uh, we have these service level agreements, but what we're doing is we're offering a free one to you guys. Uh, it's going to be covering uh, all the updates uh, that we're doing to Commerce Core and the top 20 modules, uh, keeping you up to date because it's hard to stay up to date. And you know what? Subscribe because it's going to be useful to you, I promise. Oh. You guarantee? I guarantee, one hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed. Mostly, we're gonna. It's it's a bunch of work to put this together, and we're doing it. So it, it actually is quite a bit of work. Well so at least give us a thumbs up, or you know, subscribe to our channel, or put a comment below about how much you appreciate what we're doing. Oh well, now you're just like give us some <laughs> just kudos gloating. for no reason. You're just like tell us how great we are. But I, would, I would appreciate no, seriously that. do that. Um, you can also follow us on Facebook. Um, you can check out our blog at acromedia.com, and you can follow me on Twitter. Hashtag Twitter.